Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet acetate treat bag. So I filled this one with sweets, but of course you can put anything in it. I wanted to use this stamp because I've wanted to just sit down and colour it for a while, but I wanted to put it on some form of gift box or gift bag. And when I coloured it in, I thought, you know what, he's going to look really sweet on, I think, like a mini little acetate one and that's what I've done. So if you like acetate, I have a playlist with some other nice ideas. I've done one for a bath bomb. There's there's all sorts there. So check that out because it does, I think when you start using acetate and you add you know, your ribbons and cardstock to it, it just looks really nice. And I think really professional and something like that would do really nice at a craft fair as well. So lots of ideas for this one, love this image. And if you look really closely, can you see the 3D? snow effect and this is using the cosmic shimmer fluffy stuff which I'll show you in a moment and it reacts to heat and it's like kind of swells up like that it's brilliant so let me show you how to make this really sweet treat bag okay so this is the fluffy stuff so I did share that in one of my what did I get videos and I've used it on quite a few projects now and it is it's, it's fun stuff it's fun to watch it kind of like expand it's a bit like watching the heat embossing when you see all that embossing powder melt this is the lovely stamp set it's the huge a4 one and it's by Hunky Dory. It's the For Love of Stamps range and this is so much fun and it's the Edget ones. You can get dies for these as well but I cut mine on my cutting machine and the sentiments here are really big so that's the one I'm using today Happiness is Fairy Lights and you can see that one there which I've done on the tag Have a Jolly Christmas. They're really nice so yeah I've used the Father Christmas and then this one here we've got all of these penguins all on top of each other trying to untangle the lights. So I coloured that using my Nova alcohol markers and then this one here will feature on another project and you can see there it's got a deer with a little robin on her back. Really, really sweet. So I'll be showing that one again. But as always, all the links are shared below. So I'm going to be using acetate. Now the acetate I'm using is the... 12 by 12 do cross paper mania i have loads here this is about three packs that i've put in together i picked this up i think one of them i got at trego mills for 3.99 but that was just rare because i've never seen it that cheap usually they're about 5.99 to 6.99 i think craft stash have it if not amazon but again i will share the links below because it's 12 by 12 and it's thick it's great for your bigger projects i've got some baker's twine here just a christmas one i've got ribbon for my bow and those bits all for decoration. Now, acetate's really hard to see, obviously, because it's clear. So I've already gone ahead and scored my piece here. You can see all the score lines, but I'm gonna show you it on this paper because it's gonna be easier for you to see. So for each of those bags, you want a piece of 12 by nine and three quarters. Now, the reason mine's nine and three quarters, because once we take into account the base, that was a nice height for this particular stamp. So if you aren't using a stamp or you're just doing it differently, then keep the full 12 inches and then you're not losing any acetate. Although I always keep my acetate because it's handy to use on other projects, pop-up things and, and stuff like that. Okay, so you can have this any height you want, but the height of mine is, once we take off the base, it's this height here, but yours could be this high. So along the 12 inch side, you want to score at four inches, five and three quarters, nine and three quarters and eleven and a half okay then rotate it on its side again doesn't matter what yours is here this is the side this bit here that we're going to make the base from this could be anything you could have yours five inches if you wanted to okay but you're going to score at one and three quarters all right then pop it back again and these extra score lines will just help you fold in the side pieces here okay you don't have to do that if you want to keep yours really dimensional and in its kind of square form then you can do so this is at four and seven eighths of an inch and I've pretty much gone all the way down I've kind of left about an inch from that score line here okay and then at ten and five eighths of an inch down to the same okay it would just help you like I said when we come to fold it all together so that's all the scoring done. Now, the reason I've used that and not that one is just because I was using that for acetate. It's good if you've got a metal one because you really need to really kind of embed those score lines on acetate. So it was just, in, you know, I had it here on the tray, but if you're using cardstock, then just use your normal, um, you know, whatever stylus comes with your board. Then you want to burnish all your score lines. So the bottom one, like so, and then all of these, and then the tab on the end. 
okay and then you want to do a bit of cutting so along the bottoms so you have that tab on the right hand side you want to cut up these score lines to that first base score line so that one that one I've made this style gift bag so many times. There are tons of gift bags like this. Like I said, I've got the acetate playlist, but if you do just want to see other variations of this, where I've put handles on and things like that, then I'll add that playlist in as well. Then on these ones here, these squares, just take a wedge off of each corner. Okay, so if I just lay that down, that's what you should have. Taking a little wedge off of here and here as well for the tab. And then they're folded, this one here, where you just scored down the side piece, you just fold it in that way, you can see it just creates the side fold, so you can, you can kind of put the bow like I have at the top of the bag there, and again with that side there, just fold that one back in, just down as far as it'll let you, that tab will then attach there, and you can see the top of the little gift bag. So I'm now just going to fold and burnish my acetate piece so I get it to the same as this one here. When you're working with the acetate, you just kind of need to help it along a little bit. Some of them might not always fold it, you know, exact, so you just need to make sure you burnish everything really well. Okay, so there is my acetate piece. Now, what you want to do next is you want to add double-sided tape to this tab here. So I'm going to add it onto my piece of acetate. The red tape will be the best working with the acetate, so obviously it's plastic. And um, although this would peel off if you really picked at it, but it will, it will hold it in place very well. I've just popped it along that side there. Okay, so we're working on this one here. I'm just going to remove the backing. And then usually what I would do is fold that one in and fold this down, but because the acetate's quite bouncy, if you just fold your tab in, so what we're doing, I'll show you on this one first, is we're now going to bring this one over and stick it on that tab. Okay, so it's completely concealed inside. So there's my tab. So I'm just going to hover this over and just line it up at the top there. Like so, we can just go in there. Make sure you've got no bits on the double-sided tape, because sometimes, you know, bits of fluff and everything get in there. Because once you stick it down, you shouldn't really see it. Okay, it does blend in really well. And because it's on the back, once you put the sweets in and fold the sides in, you wouldn't, you can't see it. You know, it is, it's, it's well hidden. So now I can push those side score lines in. That one there. And there you can see the gift bag coming together and there's the top. All right, now this piece is optional. I didn't do it on this one because it's filled with sweets. You can't see the base. If I turn it upside down, again, you can, can't really, I mean, you know it's there, but it's not like, in your face where the sticky tape is. But if you don't like that, you can add this piece here, which is just under one and three quarters by just under four inches, okay? And what you can do is if you pop it on the, see, it's whether or not I would do it so that once the sweets are taken out, someone's going to see it from this side here. So the first one you stick down, okay, you want to stick it underneath here, okay, and then that will then end up being inside here, and then we'll stick everything else underneath, but it means that when the sweets come out, they'll see that, and they won't see any sticky tape. If you want to do two of them, then you can stick one. Once it's all stuck together, you could stick one then here on the outside. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to do both. So let's get that one back out again. And I'm going to add some of my double-sided tape again onto this. So again, this is the, the first one that's going to be stuck down. So I'm going to stick it underneath like this. So I want the tape, hang on. Yeah, I want the tape facing me, confusing myself now as well. Like so. And then we want to pop tape on the plastic. So this is on the, uh, the acetate side now. 
this is only if you're adding the red if you're not adding the red then first of all now you want to add this acetate where I'm you want to add this red tape where I'm sticking it now because this will start to uh, stick the base all together okay so then stick that one so push that one in and then bring in one of your sides and then again that side and that's now stuck and then you can go in and you can push that all down pop a ruler in there if you can't quite get your hand in because it is a bit narrow but now that's stuck down and then all you need to do is stuck a little bit on that middle bit is just run tape now along this other one here okay and then you can just fold down that side so you can obviously see the tape a lot more now because it's against the red but like I said if you want to cut another one and stick it over there you can but I think now like I said when all the sweets or whatever's in there has been taken out or even if you can see some of it then obviously it looks much nicer that way okay so then we need to decorate so I've got these two pieces here now I have done my closure different it's entirely up to you how you want to do this so I've got these two pieces here which are four by I think again one and a half I think that's kind of the measurement I stuck with yeah by one and a half I've rounded off the the two of the corners there on one of the sides and that's going to stick on the front so it's going to look like a pretend kind of flap but we're then going to hole punch right through this so I've got two of them one for the front one for the back and then I've got my image which I've already put tape on and then this is to stick inside on the back if you didn't want to see so what I'll probably do is stick this one in first so it's going to go kind of off to the side like that and then that's going to go over the top so that then again when it's empty so it looks more finished when you look from the back it's obviously nice and you're not going to see that obviously you won't see the right but so I'm going to get that all stuck down Okay, so that's where we are now, and then I'm going to squeeze the top, again completely optional, I'm just going to grab my one here, and I'm going to pop this in, and I'm lining up the side of this with the folded piece that's inside, so you can see where that bit is there, I'm just lining it up, pushing it as far down as it will go, and then come across to this side again, pushing it right down, and there we go. So if you want to know that measurement, I'm coming in one inch and I've come down half an inch because that's as far as that one allows me. Okay, so there's my hole. So now I just need to obviously fill it with sweets and then I'm going to pop this ribbon through. I've got way too much. This is actually the last, is it? I think, yeah, I think it's the last bit of this one here, but I just thread them through. Okay, so there's my bow. Now on this one, I have my little tag and I just done two hole punched holes there and then pop that through so it hangs. So you can do that. But this one here, I think I'm actually going to stick this one on the acetate, probably maybe there. Okay, so there's that one finished. I've just filled it with some random sweets that were left in the sweet jar, but it gives you an idea of how it looks when something's in it. Of course, you don't have to put sweets in this. You can fill it with anything. It looked nice with some cosmetics, some nice soaps, things like that. Obviously, if they're wrapped as well. But yeah, I just think it's, I love it. I think they're really, really nice. They're a nice size as, and you can make them taller. Like I said, these are the, um, we cut it down to nine and three quarters, but if you had the full 12 inches, then yours is going to have another, you know, good you know two two and a bit inches there on the top so they can be very tall if you want them to be but there you are so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's inspired you check out the playlists that I did link along the way because they'll give you more inspiration and maybe some other ways it doesn't have to be Christmases you know either you could have any kind of stamped image on here or some pre-made die cuts and a nice happy birthday sentiment so do whatever you want they will work I'm sure so thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up as always if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks bye